A new at 10 calls to revamp the Baton Rouge Metro Council have some saying no. The Baton Rouge Area Chamber, which is also known as BRAC, released its position on a proposed Baton Rouge City Council. Local 33's TC Mazinga joins us now with details on the statement she received just a couple of hours ago. Good evening. Dion, during BRAC's latest meeting in August, the board of directors for the chamber voted against forming a Baton Rouge City Council. I support um, having a city council and a parish council. Councilwoman Chana Banks is the only member from the Metro Council willing to respond to the Baton Rouge area chamber's latest announcement. I find that uh, the, the, the residents within the parish um, concerns are often watered down because of the uh, votes and ideas of persons that represent um, the surrounding areas like Baker and uh, Scott Baker and Zachary and Central. Inside this news release, the board of directors for the chamber doesn't want a Baton Rouge City Council to come alive. They say the decision comes after a local group came up with an idea of an election to create a city council. I went to BRAC this afternoon to hear more on their position, but no one was available to speak. Instead, BRAC board chairman says, we believe in a unified form of government for the city parish. The creation of an additional body of government within East Baton Rouge goes against this belief, proposing yet another wedge between the people and communities of the parish. Banks says she wants to weigh the options. It's not something that I would take a leadership position on, but just on the surface, yes, I do. Uh, support us at least looking into that and seeing what the um, pros and cons are. Now, BRAC also says they have the same concerns for the proposed incorporation of St. George. For Local 33 News, I'm T. Sam Wazinga.